Hey everybody, Will Wallen here at Starbase. We're expecting something big to happen in the next few days. Let's try to figure out what it is. Speculation has been rising over the last few days about what's going to be happening down at SpaceX's Starship facility at Starbase Boca Chica, Texas. Now, SpaceX's SN20 Starship has been moved closer to the orbital mount in the orbital integration tower. Now, this means that SpaceX's SN20, Starship SN20, may be ready for a lift on the chopsticks. Now, the chopsticks are these gigantic, absolutely gigantic metal machinery arms that will be lifting SN20 and Booster 4 onto the orbital launch mount for a possible full stack. And the next couple road closures, which will be happening in the next few days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's all day long. 12-hour road closure. SpaceX is planning something big. We're not sure exactly what it is, but we do have a few hints about what it could be. Now, today, SpaceX had put the, uh, the balls onto the chopsticks, and these things are filled with tons of uh, material that will measure how much these chopsticks, stop, chopsticks can withstand. Okay, so they have to lift a Starship onto the pad. They also have to lift the booster onto the pad. They have to make sure that the chopsticks actually work. So what they do is they put these weights under the chopsticks to make sure that they can hold the weight of both of those, Booster 4 and Ship 20. Now, if this goes well, if this goes well, if these uh, sacks underneath the chopsticks get filled up and they can lift the proper weight of a Starship and a booster, could we possibly be seeing Starship SN20 lifted by the tower in the next few days? Now, we haven't seen any movement from Booster 4, but we have seen some work on it, and they put the covers at the bottom of the booster, but we haven't really seen it move closer to the orbital launch integration tower. Ship 20 has moved close to the tower. Booster 4, pretty far away, past the tanks on the other side of the of the um, launch site. So Ship 20 looks like it's going to be the one that we have to think about as far as testing goes, as far as lifting goes. Now, here's some speculation for you. Could they lift Booster 4? Could they move Booster 4 into position next to Ship 20 and then lift Booster 4 with the chopsticks? I want to know what you think in the comments below. Also, when they do that, would they retract the arms, move over to the Starship, lift the Starship SN20 on top of Booster 4, do a full stack? You see, the orbital launch mount isn't designed to hold a Starship, the top of the Starship, the Super Heavy. It's designed to hold a booster. So what would happen in that case is the booster would get close to the chopsticks. The chopsticks would hold it, move it over to the orbital launch mount, and then Ship 20 would be on top of that for a full stack. Now, do I think that's going to happen? I don't know. I wish we could get a, a straight answer for a full stack, but I don't know if 12 hours is enough to do all of that work with the chopsticks. You know, it looks like they still have some calibration to be done on the chopsticks and the QD arm. So uh, it looks like possibly they may just be doing another high test with the, uh, the bags on the bottom of the chopsticks because they put them on today and tomorrow they could fill them and then do the full height of the tower, right? So why did they move ship 20 so close to it though? That's the other question. Could they do the bags? And then a little bit later on the day, if they see that it can hold the, the weight of ship 20, because the, the uh, bags could only take a few hours, fill them up today, fill them up early in the morning, tomorrow, get this thing started early and then raise the bags up to the proper height for a ship 20 and then move ship 20 into place. Well, remove the bags, of course, because you don't want double the weight on there. Remove the bags and then put ship 20 
on the chopsticks. Ship 20 does have points where the chopsticks can attach, and the chopsticks are uh, designed to lift Ship 20. So that's not, uh, that's a, not out of the question. Like, that's a thing that could happen. Now, do they have enough time tomorrow? They have 12 hours. They also could possibly take the next day and the next day because they have those road closures scheduled as backup dates. So they could get halfway through and be like, uh, we don't know if this is going to work. Let's recalibrate some stuff. Let's do another test today. You know, maybe they'll figure some stuff out a little bit later that day. And then Tuesday or Wednesday, they may do a preliminary test in the mornings, get everything ready, then put Starship SN20 on those chopsticks and lift it up. Now, why would they close down the road? Um, the thing is, everything is big. Everything is bigger than you see in the videos. When you see things on YouTube, when you see these Starships and you see these tanks and you see these boosters uh, on the videos, man, these things are absolutely gigantic in person. I go down there almost every day and every day I'm dwarfed by the side of these, by, by the size of these things. And Ship 20, it's 150 feet tall. Booster 4, 250 feet tall. Altogether, it's about 400-ish feet tall. And then they have to lift that on top of <laughs> one on top of the other. And they have to put that next to this tower. And if anything were to go wrong, you know, it could be disastrous for the flight area. And there could be shrapnel everywhere. So closing down the road is a precaution, of course, for uh, the people that are around here. So they'll clear the pad. They'll make sure everybody's out of there when they do these lift tests. And then they'll go through with these lift tests to make sure that everything functions properly. Because if something goes wrong, this isn't, this isn't small stuff. If those chopsticks snap off or bend or break, it could be a lot of damage. So clearing the area of everybody, all their cars, all their vehicles is pretty important. Of course, there will be some SpaceX employees nearby uh, in case something happens as an emergency. And also the engineers that are in charge of these things will be nearby. But closing down the roads is important. And I've been saying things for the last few days, like, why are they closing down 15 miles of the roads? And I was informed today that they do that for every test. It's sort of like a blanket statement for all of these tests. It's like, okay, we're going to close down like all of Highway 4. But most of the time, it's just from the production site to the launch site. So that being said, hopefully it's just from the production site to the launch site tomorrow and not 15 miles of roads. So that'll be cool to watch. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out and checking out the show. Appreciate you. Make sure to sub to the channel. Give it a like. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye.